All right, today I'm going to be installing something that I believe will be uh, useful in most homes today. It's a high-speed USB uh, charging receptacle, okay? This replaces your standard duplex outlet. Um, and this will allow you to charge your cell phone, your tablet, your quadcopter batteries, your Fitbit, whatever, whatever requires USB charging, okay? I've got a few of these installed around my home already, and I thought I would take a minute and show you how to install one, okay? I went with the top greener brand. You'll want to check around on how much amperage uh, they put out. The Leviton puts out uh, a unit. Snap Power puts out a plate itself that has the uh, USB charging receptacles in it, uh, but they don't all put out the same amperage, okay? I do have uh, the Snap Power LED light receptacle covers and uh, I like those but I didn't like the USB um, charging receptacle covers because it actually extends the uh, outlet cover down so I went with these okay I also wanted the high speed so let's go ahead and shut the breaker off to the outlet we're going to be installing this in and I'll show you how to install it all right so this one's going to go in the kitchen by the bar all right all right so we're going to start by removing the uh, existing outlet cover now my installation is going to be a little bit different because I'm installing this on a ground fault circuit so I could have actually just tripped the uh, ground fault uh, protection, but uh, I thought we'd better shut the breaker off because chances are you're not installing it on a ground fault circuit, or maybe you are, but either way, it's best to shut the breaker off, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this uh, outlet here. This is the one that we're going to replace. <clears throat> okay, so hopefully there's enough wire between these two outlets uh, so I can just pull this one out and it appears that there is. Okay, so mine are using these side terminals. Your wires may be going into the back um, and I'll show you that in just a second here. So I'm going to remove the wires. And you also may have um, two sets of wires um, on each side. And you want to obviously hook those back up as well. Basically, they, they jump from one outlet, outlet to another. Not sure why. Okay. All right, so on the back of the outlet, you can see that there are these holes, and if your wires are going into those holes, and you need to take a, a small flathead screwdriver and uh, insert it into this slot and release the spring tension and then kind of tug on the wires. Sometimes they can be a pain to get out, so I was kind of glad that this one uh, was using the side terminals, okay? All right, let's take a look at the new outlet. All right, so the top greener um, USB charging outlet comes with a couple of wall plates, these decor style wall plates, which are actually kind of nice. This is a standard one. This one's got no screws on it. Um, it's not gonna work in this situation because I have double outlets. So I bought this uh, on Amazon as well for about 50 cents, okay? So with this screwless one, which I wish I could use, um, you basically need to take a screwdriver and release it. And then we need to remove these top Phillips screws uh, to take the existing wall plate off, or the outlet cover rather. Okay, and you'll notice that um, while there are side terminals here, um, I'm going to use put the wires in the back here and you notice that there's two holes in case you do have uh, a couple of wires running to your outlet okay so basically all right now we need to uh, straighten out the wires so that we can slip them into the back of the outlet and that one broke off which is okay because I want them a little bit shorter anyways I don't want any copper coming out of the back of the uh, the uh, new outlet which it wouldn't hurt anything but I just like to have it that way all right, so I'm gonna cut this one off just a little bit as well. So it's important to keep in mind too that the white or the neutral always goes to the silver terminal, okay? The black goes to the gold, okay? And then the bare goes to the green, which is your ground, and that's got a, a green tint to it, but it's hard to see. Okay, so silver is white or neutral, okay? Gold is black or hot, and then green is your 
bare wire or your ground, okay? So I just had a conversation with a friend of mine the other day, Gary. Shout out to Gary. Um, way he said he remembered it um, was Beverly Hillbilly song, black gold, okay? Black to gold, all right? So what we're gonna do is basically make sure that these are loose. I believe they come that way, and they are. And we're just gonna slip uh, the wires into the appropriate hole, okay? So hot is black. And what happens is it slides under this brass piece here. Uh, and then when you tighten it down, it kind of clamps, it clamps the wire between a couple of contacts, okay? All right, we'll do our neutral here. And then we'll do our ground. And the ground's a little bit different. <clears throat> you still slide it in between the, under the brass, but there's no actual hole. All right. Now I'm just gonna try to bend the wires a little bit. So as you push it in, um, They'll bend and kind of go where you want them to go here. Let's see if we can get one started. It's got to come over a little bit here. All right, so we're just going to tighten them in, but I'm not going to tighten them in all the way because you want to try to get uh, the outlet's relatively flush and also you may need to uh, have the ability to slide them a little bit uh, when you get the outlet cover on. Alright, so let's take a look and see how that fits. And you can see what I mean, they're a little bit tight or close together. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good, uh, just like that. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, wind the wall plate screws in here. And then we'll hit the breaker and try it out. I'm gonna hit my dry wall a little bit there. I think the other cover was a little bit larger. You can see the, the ring around it there. All right, let me go hit the breaker and uh, I'll grab a device or two and try it out. All right, so when I mentioned I could have just tripped the ground fault, I could have done that and that would have cut power to this outlet, but uh, if you don't have a ground fault circuit that you're installing this on, obviously you need to hit the breaker, okay? So moment of truth here, let's just plug in a phone and it looks like we're good. It's gonna charge. Okay, let's try another device real quick. So hopefully this video has been uh, helpful uh, let's try a tablet. Um, it's one of those things I think most homes could use uh, today, and a few of them at least, you know, for convenience purposes so you don't have so many chargers laying around. Uh, if you found this helpful at all, give me that thumbs up if you would. And if you want to see more of this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button right there. Yep, we're good. We're charging my tablet here. Um, you know, leave questions and comments below. Again, this is the top greener brand. There are a couple other brands out there. Snap Power has got just an outlet cover. Uh, with USB uh, charging ports down below, which I don't particularly like, but I do like the Snap Power LED uh, outlet covers, and I'm going to link to a video right after this. So stay tuned and click that and uh, check that one out. So thanks for watching. Leave questions and comments below. Have fun.